I've got a couple of course pages here, course one and course two. Imagine this had loads of videos and PDFs and images and course content. By the way, this doesn't have to be just course content. It could be a secret page on your website as well. Maybe it's a shop page with some exclusive products or just some information, but I don't want anyone to access this until you go and purchase particular products. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with a free code snippet. We're not using any third party plugin. We're not having to integrate into WooCommerce, even though we are using WooCommerce products. But basically, you've got to purchase certain products to access these pages when you're viewing it on a live screen. And what happens if you don't purchase it and you click it? Well, then it will take you to a specific URL. Let me show you how to do that. And like I said, we're using a free code snippet. Let's just cut to the chase. And here's the code snippet. The link is in the video description. You're already going to notice product IDs. We've got some page names over here and then we got some URLs. So let me now go through this step by step. Firstly, identify what your products are. So I've got two products and I'm going to say that you've got to purchase either one of them or either of them to be able to access the course course page. Now, what's really important is the product ID. So this product, if you hover over it, ID 183 and this one is ID 186. So go and make a note of those product IDs. Then you wanna go over to your pages and you wanna then take account of what is the slug. So over here we have course hyphen one and over here we have course hyphen two. It's very important to make sure you get the slug names, okay? You could use the title, but I found it was easy to use the slug name. Then decide on where is the user gonna go if they try to access it, but they haven't purchased. And by the way, once you've purchased, you could come back later on in the year or the month or whatever, log into the website with your My Account and then when you go to that link or that page, you will be able to go through it. So yes, it works using WooCommerce and all of the logins and all of that, but you've got to make sure you do the purchase. But where do you go if you try to access it? Well, again, go and decide on that. And you could have a page which just takes them back to the shop page. You could have a page that says, uh -uh, you cannot access this. You've got to make sure you've purchased it first. You could even send them back to the single product template or the actual product page for that product. So if they're trying to buy a bag and they try and access that bag, why would you have a bag? No, a course. They're trying to access a course and they click it. It actually takes them back to the product page for that course to say, well, you've got to buy it to access it. So there's many ways you can do this. And if we now go over to the snippet, remember we had two product IDs, 183 and 186. We've got course one. And here I'm saying you must purchase product 183. And if you do not purchase 183 and you try to access it, it's going to send you to the shop page. Over here, we've got course two. Remember the slug course hyphen two. You can purchase either product 183 or 186. So it doesn't matter which one you purchase, right? If you want to purchase both, fine. But as long as you've purchased either one of them, and that's what's so cool about this snippet, you will then have access to course number two. And if you haven't purchased it and you try and access it, it will send you to the contact page. Please forgive me for not doing some proper pages here. I just went and used what I had available on this dummy site. And I've given you another example. I don't have a product for 190 or 191, but I wanted to throw it in here just so that when you do go and get hold of this snippet, you can see that you can basically expand on this, right? So if you've got 10 courses, you just go and add them in here. I mean, that's how easy this is to use. You just have to modify the top bit. That's all you do. Du -du 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 -du. You don't have to change anything else within this code. Everything is done at the top end here. You go and save changes and you then activate. I'm on my example homepage and I've now put course one in the URL. So when I hit return, that is going to take me to the shop page because I have not purchased a product. And that's exactly where we land. So the URL I put in for the redirect, that's where it went. Let's go and try course number two. You can see the URL and when we try to access that, it takes me to the contact page. So you can literally send them to the same location or different locations. And that was with a free code snippet. We're not using any other restrict membership plugin software. This is like a WooCommerce product. So you log in and have your checkout and cart and all of that. And then you have your my account. And then you can restrict access to course content, private pages, whatever you don't want people to have access to until they purchase something. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Go and check out the code snippet and I'll see you soon.